It's the Joe Padula Show, Clarksville's conversation. Absolutely. All right. Uh, where, where are you from originally? Florida. You're, you're from Florida. Well, from Miami. You're, yeah. Okay. Nice. Nice. And uh, and were you married in Miami down there mm-hmm. in Florida? Uh, no, the St. Lucie County area. Are, are you okay <laughs> talking about this? Because yeah, I, I'm I'm okay just to raise awareness yeah. about it. I'm not a victim. No. I don't want to see myself as that. Right. So. Exactly. But just a lot of my friends even don't know about this. So. I I think you just have a very good <laughs> command message out there, uh, of survival. Because I read and hear about way too many stories, especially in this veteran-heavy area, okay, of abusive relationships. And it goes both ways, by the way. More, oh, yeah. I believe that 100%. I mean, it's – and I'm not standing up for guys or standing up for girls. I'm standing up for not being violent with someone that you're supposed to love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So your story, where did you meet the guy? So a friend of – mine in high school introduced me she was dating his brother and i used to hang out with her all the time so i got introduced through them and this is while you guys were in high school yeah but he was older than me so he was already out of high school how, how much older me, like seven years oh you're like a reverse cougar yeah I like right. older guys. <laughs> you know what the older guy who likes younger girls is called yeah we I, it's I called can't. the manther is it really? Right, right. That's the female. Uh, that's a male version of a cougar, a manther. I learned okay. that at Urban Dictionary. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but go on. And um, so I came from a very strict household, obviously. Yeah, you private know, school and everything. And right. So you don't live with the person before you get married. You right. Don't do any of that before uh-huh. you get married. Straight, straight up, like if you're gonna get married to him, you get married, and then your life starts with him. How long were you dating this guy for? While you were in high school two years and then my first year in college at the end of that is when you got married, got married in college yeah, i was like 21 i was really young why'd you get married in college were, were you guys uh practicing uh no sex before marriage yeah. or something well yeah everything okay so so did i mean you... that's not really that's not what like swayed me into uh-huh. getting he he was very manipulative but i didn't really see it at first as that did you, you know, get? Uh, I saw it as him like trying to want to protect me and like. Well, if the guy, me, if the know? guy for years is is with you and not going all the way, if you will. Yeah, well, exactly. Th- that's, and he was a bad boy, so th- that's I'm pretty like, impressive. Two years, exactly. That's a hell that's of a That's another front. thing too, exactly. And it was like two years. Okay. And he was a real. He was not a good. Like he had a jail. You know. Do you think he was cheating stuff. on you? I don't really care if he was. No, well, do you know what I mean? If if this guy I don't think so. I mean, was out I don't about think getting so. his uh, getting his jollies off, <clears throat> as Adam says. Um, I don't maybe, know if you say jolly. I don't. I really don't think so. All right, because but, he like wanted to be with me all the time. Right. So I don't think so, but all possibly right. when, when we got married for sure. <laughs> so you get married in college. Okay. Uh, did you have a big wedding? Was it? Was it? Uh, yeah, was your family was happy for I mean, you? I mean, it was just at my local church because we had been there for so long. Did so. Did your family tell you like, hey, I like this guy, or uh, or did they say, hey, there's some red flags that you couldn't see? Yeah, kind of a little bit because a little bit, a couple of times his anger came through, but I mean, I have a bad temper, so. Okay, so you don't you know, want to fault. I have to work on that. So yeah, yeah. I'm not going to just be like, oh, you know. Like Those you who have haven't sinned temper. cast the first stone. Exactly. Right, okay. So That's a Bible reference, uh, Lawyer Wayne, by the way. Yeah. Bible study. So, okay, so, so you, yeah. you guys and are married. That's it was literally as soon as we got married, <clears throat> we he, like, wanted to move off, you know, kind of, like, isolate me. I was like. Well, but yeah. I like Gainesville. It's like we we're going to move to that area. I was going to go to school or whatever. G- Gainesville, Florida. Yeah. Okay. From like St. Lucie County to Gainesville. Okay. So, so started, away from the family. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, and away from the, the flagpole. I didn't know anybody pole. out there. He uh-huh. didn't know anybody out there either. But. But, I mean, in that area at that time of Florida, there was his, a lot uh, of property that was cheaper. And can I guess I his property. ethnicity? Yeah. The one with a lot of control. He's from New York, Joe. Yeah. Is He's he, a Yankee. Is he? That was my first downfall. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> down, down those, goes Frazier. I those who cast the first stones, I Joe. Went, I yeah. should have went with the hus- Southern hospitality, Southern No, gentlemen. let me tell you. No, the Southern people beat women, too. Oh, okay. okay. Man, lawyer Wayne? And wife beaters. No. You're a lawyer. Well, so, In yeah, overalls. just the Yankee guys are good at covering it up. You're damn right. 
No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So anyway. So okay. Yeah. So, so then we ended up moving out there because actually I did want property anyways because I like property. I don't like to be like. Did in you the have city to leave college? Stuff. Well, I was going to go to college out there. I had already finished my two years. Remember? Okay. We, you okay. Know, and so I was on full scholarship. And what were you we going to school for? Well, I was on full scholarship for dance. For in dance. Florida. And that's that why time. you're a hell of a dancer. Now, what's your TikTok? Uh, same as my Instagram. Uh, Minor RPSGT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow her on TikTok. Amazing dance routines. So <clears throat> I had finished with that whole two year scholarship dance thing. So, and we were able to get some property up there that was really cheap. So I was like, yeah, you know, let's do it. It's like, I'm pretty spontaneous, to be honest. Okay. You know? I didn't really f feel like anything was going to be like different uh, but he was around everybody that was kind of keeping him in line i guess maybe how uh, yeah because i mean you were surrounded by a support team yeah and now you were out of your support team uh as soon as you got married how long did, was it until you, you you slept with them what like you that night <laughs> no. that night <laughs> i mean are you supposed to wait after that uh, uh, what why <sighs> wait it, it, joe's never been married he doesn't know yeah, how these things know. work the listen I, I mean i thought that's this, what the honeymoon no, was for this leads into <laughs> a a very <laughs> important point though oh. okay um was he good I mean, you don't have to answer that to you. <laughs> Listen to the lawyer. Okay, all right. It's right. on you too. Okay, all right, all right. Um, okay, so anyway, so you guys, you know, uh, we, we, okay. <laughs> what was that? Is that, that was the a, noise you made, Joe? No, that Dang. was the impression of Forrest Gump. That's the noise he makes when he doesn't spit. By Forrest, the way. Forrest <laughs> wow, Gump's teacher. Yeah. Wow. He said it. Wow. He, he, he. <laughs> now I know what you're talking about. Forrest Gump. <laughs> this is okay. You know, because uh, yeah, no, Mrs. I got Gump wanted yeah, to get his son. On, yes. I'm hot. <laughs> All right, so nonetheless, okay, so you, you, you guys move to yeah. uh, to Gainesville, okay? And then I guess kind of probably just like responsibilities started adding up on him, and maybe that kind of created a little bit of more anxiety or anger because uh, you know how all that life. Yeah, but it sounds like you're making excuses. Well, I was trying to make excuses, yeah, because, you know, you try... Okay, first off, I'm from a very strict family. When you get married, you work through shit. You don't just buy, like, at the first yeah, drop right. of the hat. Like, I was taught, when you get married, that's, you know, that's where you're at. Uh, what Did he hit you? Well, <laughs> it would lead to him provoking first, and then, how, like... How so? So I'm sure a lot of people know what I'm talking about by like provoking. First, it would be like the words, and it would amp you what, up. What, what and would then he it say? Would be like a finger. He would like yeah. put on me, and it would be very like. Well, what, what would he say? I mean, what, just what, what type of what type it was? Of... It was literally like a bipolar anger, just rage, full on. And it was loud. It was screaming. just all stuff that would, whatever it was, would be like turned back around to me somehow. You know, uh, what, and like what's I felt like I was like, well, damn, I guess maybe it is my fault. What's you know? an example? Like uh, you, you left the fridge open. I mean, what's an example? I mean, I don't know. There's stupid examples. Like if he would let me go out of the house, I would, you know, be go. I would go to like the grocery store. Yeah. He would like time me. Time you. And he, yeah. And if I was like a minute past coming back to the house, he was like, where'd you stop? Who'd you see? Like, who are you? And I'm like, are we really doing this? Like, really? I was like, actually, I got stopped at the stoplight. You know, something stupid would a mind trigger game. him. A mind game. Yeah. yeah. But then I was told like, after the whole fact of like through the divorce and stuff, like therapists were like, that was him projecting his guilt onto you. What do you mean? So a lot, I guess apparently a lot of people do that. Like if they have guilt and they're the ones cheating and running around on you, uh -huh. they're going to project it onto you what yeah. they're doing because uh, they get feel it. guilty. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know that. Like I'm sitting here like, oh, like. Did, is did you ever catch him cheating? No, but I knew. Yeah. You yeah. knew. Oh, he was cheating. Oh, I knew because I turned up with something I didn't want. <laughs> he, he, was pro he was probably cheating on you while uh, you guys weren't even married. Maybe. Yeah. Probably, I mean, it's not. But then, it, then it, I mean, the, the physical stuff, because you're pretty strong. You're pretty strong. Well, that's the whole thing that that's so other than like wanting to stay and work through it, because that's what I was taught. Yeah. I knew also that you were not supposed like men do not lay their hands on women like that. You know, that's also what I was taught. So I'm like, well, what am I supposed to do here? Because like I'm married. 
So I'm supposed to work through this, but I know that like Did you men have aren't supposed to. Well, I was in Gainesville. I didn't know anybody. But no out friends. There. What What about family? Did you call I them? I didn't want. That's kind of embarrassing. You, you don't want. First wanna... off, that's why a lot of women don't say anything. Okay. For me, that was kind of like a pride and an embarrassing thing. It, to is, be honest. is going to family. Yeah, going to anybody, and what, plus what a... then you have you risk the the chance of them being like, oh, you're just lying because from this time, from like way back till until then. Yeah. He was like all about I would die for you and like he would he was only showing like straight love to me. So nobody's going to believe. But just through words. Yeah. Well, would, would he get you gifts and everything too to, uh, to when he felt yeah, bad or to yeah. say sorry? Yeah. And, and then work. afterwards that's exactly what would happen. He would start crying like tears oh that's down, another like, that's another red me. flag if you leave me no. i'm gonna kill myself oh, like oh, you're yeah. my world i'm sorry if if, if anyone says that to anyone yeah, in a relationship that that is a uh, that's a that's a get out get out yeah that's a get out well you don't see that when you're part of you feel like you're part of the problem because he made you feel like you're right. part of the problem too mm -hmm. and i did not just sit there i fought back so i am part of the problem any any mind. any arrest made no, that's the thing. I never called the cops either because I was also told that, and I don't know if. Well, what would you call the cops on him for? Domestic. He he was actually hitting. I, I had bruises on my body and stuff. Like cold, cold, uh, clo close fist punches and. He would like or just push me. And oh, I pushing would fall it, over the couch or something. Pushing that assault hard, too. Mm -hmm. You know, and then I would or he would like push it. You know, he'd like uh, punch holes through the door right. and the door would or the pull the door off the hinge, whatever, you know. And and you were doing this for five years? Yeah. So w what was the final straw? The final straw, what, well, throughout that five years, we had moved to Tennessee. Um, why, why? Why the move to Tennessee? Well, because my Did you start to make family, friends over there? No, my whole family in Florida was getting out because the economy was bad. They were uh -huh. all coming up here to open with public supermarkets because that's when public supermarkets started moving up well, to well, Tennessee. Well. You have connections with public yeah. supermarkets? my whole family. Was Let's talk afterwards. Other than okay, me, but. Yeah. So then we moved afterwards. up here, this is, this is and then it started. I love, I love Publix, by the way. Yeah, I it's, it's, it's absolutely my favorite. I miss the samples. I, I don't shop anywhere else but Publix. It's quality. Okay. I miss the samples at Publix. Oh, the, the best. Yeah. The samples were the like cook, the best. The cook. cook. Yeah, cooks. I used to. Yeah. I love that. Adam, you don't know where I'm going with this. I'm <laughs> trying to secure a sponsorship. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry. I'm <laughs> trying to help though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But go on. Okay. So but you guys yeah, moved so to Tennessee. And then it started getting even worse because. Then he started like holding like guns to my head, and I what? was like, "Okay, f it's just gonna keep getting progressively worse. I'm not gonna be able." Were they to loaded guns? It. Yeah, like a shotgun, and he was like, "A shotgun to yeah, your head?" Yes, many times. Finger on the he trigger. Was like, he was like, "What if, would he say?" He was like, "I would be like in the middle of cleaning or something. Something triggered him. I don't know. He started like trying to." verbally fight and i was just ignoring it because i'm like over it i'm like i'm just gonna sit here and ignore it like i'm just kept cleaning and I, it pissed them off even more when you were cleaning were you wearing french maid outfits <laughs> no no okay that's not one of my fantasies by the way i just thought that's a weird fantasy why would they dress up in these i mean they are cute outfits you know what's the worst fantasy though <laughs> is to play dress up as nurse right really yeah because I don't know. The old-fashioned nurse outfits are cute, no, not the scrubs. Because if I'm seeing a nurse, that means I'm sick. <laughs> okay? You, yeah, you, you, you definitely are, are sick. You definitely are yeah. sick, Joe. Yeah, like, like I'm in the hospital. I, that's not my fantasy. Like, if I'm in the hospital, like, I'm in the hospital because something serious happened. Yeah. So, but anyway, okay, so, boom. Uh, shotgun yeah, to the head. so then, like, when that started happening, you know, and I, so then he held the guy. I'm like, wow. Like, Honestly, to myself, at that point, I was actually like, I wish he would pull the trigger. Wow. Because I didn't. You were I, defeated. I was done. Like, you were I defeated. was done trying to put up a fight because it didn't and make a And you're such difference. a strong person. And you were brought to that level of, I, I don't was, care. I was like, pull the trigger. Wow. Honestly. And you were I was ready. a couple of times that he did that, you know. What about your, your friend that worked in, in Tennessee? Were you able to have friends or support? No, I still wasn't still able on your to own. work. So, he wouldn't let me out of the freaking house to work. What did he do for a living? He worked at first with Thompson Caterpillar, which is a big company. Yeah, yeah, Caterpillar, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, he stayed with them, like, the whole time. But, I yeah. mean, did, well, did see, he have that's any, the whole thing did also. Did he have I any problems the, at I work? I the cops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, for sure. Yeah, yeah uh, anger, uh, of anger course he did. At work. So how yeah. was he still able to keep a job? I mean, you. He, his <sighs> position was needed. That's who he was cheating on. Yeah, That's how sure. he kept, it definitely yeah, was. Someone at work. It was. Yeah. yeah. One of the guys. Oh, no. No? Okay. Just asking. Not that that matters. I'm just asking. No. <laughs> Lawyer Wayne hates these interviews, by the way. 
Yeah. Lawyer Wayne, it, it, it's it's you, you, emotion, emotion. Bring it back down. Emotion, yeah. motion. No, I uh -huh. I like those breaks that you're yes, giving me. Yes, of of course. So. It, it, it's all I I took a class on this. Yeah. Yeah, it was on but, YouTube. But honestly, when I was to that point where when I thought to myself, like, I wish he would pull the trigger, then I knew I it just kind of clicked in my head. And I was like, you know what? Why am I like, why am I still living this way? I'm either going to die here miserable with him. Right. Or I'm going to die trying to get away. So. So how did you... I'm going to die trying to get away. OK. So <laughs> I'm five not going to stay miserable anymore. What like, was the that process was my whole to... click click moment. Like, you're going to die either way because this just keeps getting worse. OK. So how'd you get away? So when he went to work, I. Did Finally, you, I was just did you like, pack bags? I, yeah, well, just a suitcase. I didn't care. Was it what, cold I, out? I, what honestly, were you driving? I would have left without anything, but I needed some clothes. Did you have a car? Yeah, I have my own car, but. Uh huh. So, okay, I went so. To my you, mom's house. You, yeah, and. That's really the only place I had to go. What'd your mom say? Was we she were, surprised? We were like, no, because my dad had seen the bruises and stuff uh, for a while. Did your family want to do something? Yeah, I yeah. have two brothers. Are you right. kidding me? And like my if dad, I see, they're, like, they're going to want to hurt But the thing that is, guy. they yeah. weren't so doing anything because mm. of me. Because you told and them not also, to. And also, that's just going to make the situation worse, and I'm still there. Yeah. Not if the guy's done. Oh, it, <laughs> it would have made I it worse. Sorry, I didn't say it. Lawyer Wayne, I didn't say it. Uh-huh. Not if the guy's So I was like, okay, like, this is enough, enough is enough. I'm going to die either way. That was my whole thought process. So. Yeah. Just die trying to leave, you know? Why stay any longer? And? It's the same end result. <laughs> so what was his response? So when I went to my mom's, she was, you know, I was pretty, like, shaken up and stuff. And I'm like, he's going to come here. And yeah. he's probably going to bring guns. And? Like, and my dad, he did. He came to my mom and dad's house with the gun. And my dad had to, like, confront him. My mom and dad have, like, a really long driveway, you know, because it's, like, seven acres. Genetics, so it's one of those. right. <laughs> It's that was a pretty good joke. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, Laura. Uh, yeah, that was a good one. So, but go on. Okay, they got the yeah, long drive. Yeah, so my dad had to be the one that went out and confronted him. Yeah. And he was like, you're not going any further. Like, this is my house. This is my property. You need to go back to your car Was your pops and, packing and too? I mean, in the house, but he didn't bring one. Oh, he should have brought it out. It's on his property, Tennessee. Yeah. He doesn't have to have a permit. I know. I mean. Right, Lori Wayne? Well, we had just moved to Tennessee anyways. But... On your property, you don't need a permit. It's, uh... It's more complicated than that. Okay, never mind. And yeah. plus, you don't really want to <laughs> anger an already angry person. Yeah, yeah, but, I mean, if you go to a gunfight without a gun, that's kind of a problem, too. If somebody comes to my property with a gun, yeah. I'm bringing out my M4, okay? Uh, it's a, it's a non-automatic M4, by the way. <laughs> so, but, but the same kind of, like, verbal fighting that he would do with me, he yeah. did to my dad. And my dad was just like, He wasn't wow, having it. Wow, like... If okay, that's so, what you've been going through for five years. That's insane because that's gonna break anybody's. So head down. then what? Because like, now you got to see them in like. So then, freaking Tennessee takes forever to for the whole divorce process. You dude. know why? Like, Crappy lawyers. Oh my, no! I, somebody, somebody told me I had like one of the best lawyers in Gallatin that I went with. Oh, and it took forever. you were in Gallatin, Gallatin. no yeah, wonder. Yeah, Sumner County. Wow. Yeah, you it should. was bad. So that was actually the longest time because in between that time, he's yeah. like playing that one card that he used to play. Like, please come back. I, you're my world. Did it like, work? Don't do that. Well, obviously not. Here I am. <laughs> okay, good. So it didn't work. No, he's he got remarried like a you, year after we were divorced. You signed the paper. Am, you're out. Single. And now that woman is stuck with his. his now, oh, yes. yeah. and she has called me numerous times. Uh-huh. Asking for help, saying, mm -hmm. I don't know, how did you do this? And she's only been with married to him for one year. And the whole time, but before when they were dating, yeah. I was the bad guy. I was the liar. I yeah. was the bad guy, you know, and all this. But then when it started happening to her, she guess hot? who she called? Is she me. cute? She's, yeah, she's pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Should we get her on the show? No, she's in Lafayette. She, he, she ain't allowed out of the house. Uh, Hello. Yeah, that's yeah. point. <laughs> she ain't leaving that house. Are you kidding me, Joe? She, but she started calling me a wreck. She needed a place to stay because she called the cops on him. When and did, had him when put did in jail, you have... which I never did because I didn't want any kind of yeah. report. I didn't want a report at all for me. When did you finally have that, that, that big exhale of <coughs> air knowing it was over? When he got remarried, I was like, I'm good. Like, and how long then that's from on her. your divorce? And, and what about Literally in court? Literally a year. Did, didn't you guys Probably have about to, a year after you got Didn't you see each other in court? And yes. The court was the worst part. I had to freaking relive everything. But the thing was, he actually wrote a letter 
apologizing and saying I never meant to lay hands on you and all so he like kind of trapped himself and said he had done all that stuff and I, they made me freaking read it in court and did he was he, just like devastated did he me. sign Brett's name on the letter <laughs> exactly okay I was gonna say <laughs> I was gonna say that he spit on the paper but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> yeah. but okay but, so boom you you made yeah. it you did it exactly and so yeah but that and that also goes to show like a therapist was like normally the person that's doing all the damage is the one that moves on right away and like i was tra i'm traumatized still if i start seeing red flags like that mm -hmm. i'm like no i because i told myself if i get out of this situation alive i'm not going to put myself back in this situation like ever of course not again of course you not. know but here he is you know he was married a year later and I'm still single because I push everybody away. But I'm glad you're but alive. But I'm alive, yeah. exactly. You're That's alive. You're here. That's the big thing. That yeah. is the big thing because, honestly, either way, I didn't know. But that's why I'm very pro-A, by, 2A, by the way. Mm. <laughs> that leads into Second that. Second Amendment, yeah. baby. And you got friend supports around yeah. here now, too. Because wow. for that so. whole separation time, I slept with a gun under my pillow, yeah. and that's the only thing that kept me sane. Well, now you just gained four new brothers in here. To, for, yeah, <laughs> thank you. Um, three, I'm busy. <laughs> oh, he's busy. So I'm three busy. new Well, ones. he's a Yankee. Yeah, dude. I'm a Yankee. Uh, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I want nothing to do with it. He's got other things to do. <laughs> Let me tell you something about Yankees, though, okay? Uh, there are Yankees, and then there are damn Yankees. Yeah. And here's the difference between a Yankee and a damn Yankee. <laughs> a damn Yankee knows when to get the hell out of that, that cesspool, yeah. okay, and uh, turn into a Southerner. So I know. That is a joke. I don't. Yeah, I, don't, I know. I know. The whole Yankee. I'm just working, I'm working on y'all. <laughs> They're just upset. I don't about want the, to get us canceled for saying Yankee. They're just upset about <laughs> the war of northern aggression, I guess. Right? <laughs> Lawyer Wayne, uh, you heard, uh, I'm sure you've heard so many stories being a lawyer dealing with a lot of divorces and separation and stuff. Yeah. Do you yeah. hear similar stories like that all the time? Is this too common? All the time. It's too common. Yeah. That's, that's upsetting. It is. What, what usually happens? Well, you get out of it, you know. In Sumner County, it takes a long time. I can understand mm -hmm. that. But, uh, yeah, people get trapped in these situations. They don't know what to do. Do what she did. Reach out to your family. You know, mm -hmm. Reach out to the people that love you. There you go. They're not going to let you suffer like that. Right. Right. It's going to feel embarrassing at first, but or you might even think like I did. Like, they're not going to believe me because all he shows them is that he loves me. But it'll eventually the truth shows itself. For yeah. me, it was like 10, you know, like 10 years later when she started getting abused by him. Then everybody was like, okay, so Ashley was never lying. You mm -hmm. know, it's happening again with his new wife. So. It show the truth always comes out, you know. That's and I always kept my truth, and I didn't care who believed me. Very know? proud of you for so, uh, for I didn't talking I about mean, this in a, in a public forum. That that takes a yeah. that takes a lot of bulls. Oh, a lot of people guts. didn't even know that story, because <laughs> I don't like to tell the story. I'm not a victim. No, I don't like to look at it that way. I, I say that all the time myself. I, I, I'm a veteran, not a victim. Yeah. And uh, you are a veteran of a situation that was uh, very very life changing. And, uh, yeah, so, you lose yourself. You're not the same person. But you made it. Again, yeah. really. You made it. The best yeah, is yet exactly. to come. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Still alive. So yep. Still breathing. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's the best thing about every day, being above ground. Yep. Uh, how can people follow you on uh, TikTok and other social media platforms? Yep, just IG is all I have, and then TikTok. So it's at minor.rpsgt. That's right. And that's because she's a... Uh, yeah. She's a... She's a ASMR. <laughs> hey, go to sleep. <laughs> I said hip-hop, hip hop hip hop uh, hip hip hop Nice job today. Right. Again, Ashley, nice job today. Mm, thank you. I, I know that wasn't comfortable for you to uh, tell your story, but uh, I think a necessity. And yeah. I'm well, telling hopefully you. Hopefully it helps somebody. You have a massive following. And I truly believe that you have been given the attributes to create a massive following for a reason. Yeah. And I believe part of that reason is not only just entertaining and promoting fitness and dancing. Mm -hmm. Okay. But also... Promoting that message that you talked about today about I mean, I agree. surviving an abusive relationship. So uh, yeah, I just don't want to sound like a crybaby. You know, that's what a lot of women come across. That we will tell you, we're very honest here, <laughs> very maybe too honest. <laughs> and we will tell you if you're like, uh, stop trying to do this because you think it's cool. Yeah. So you're doing the right thing. Proud yeah. of you. Nice job. Thank you. It's the Joe Padula Show. Bada Bing. Clarksville's conversation.